free, man. You've been looking wicked out there. Walk me through the day. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it was an awesome day. Um, felt good uh, ever since second practice, and and then um, man, Chase was talking talking some smack. He was gonna get the whole shot, and uh, I had to let him know. I had to let him know in the first moto. So. Uh, that was good. I rode really, really good until I stalled it about three laps to go. And then uh, obviously Chase got by me and and then, um, yeah, ended up second. And then uh, second moto didn't get as great of a start, but I knew I had to pass, um, uh, was it Justin and Hunter? I knew I had, like, I had to get them. So um, that's what I did. And then, uh, and then uh, the other two, I mean, Chase and Anderson were were were, uh, were on another level, and I tried um, everything I could do, and then they kept uh, they kept pulling on me, so I just backed it down. I about uh, I about ruined it a couple times, uh, so I backed it down and uh, cruised it in for third, so two three for second overall. It was a really really good day. Is it hard to make that decision in your moto when you're going and going and you realize, okay, it's time for me to back down. Obviously, you want to be safe, but you want to keep charging. So is that kind of hard to make that decision? Yeah, yeah, you definitely. I mean, as long as you're not in first, you want to keep charging. But I had a few moments that uh, that almost put me on the ground, uh, like a couple laps right in a row. And I was like, dude, if I, if I weed it right now, I'm not going to forgive myself. So uh, in that sense, it was a little bit easier to, uh, to back it down. I, I couldn't back it down a lot, though, because um, Hunter was right there. He wasn't, he, wasn't, uh, he wasn't backing down at all. So um, I had to keep the speed. I just kind of started using some different lines and, and just uh, started breathing a little bit more. And then, uh, dude, it seems like every weekend, it just sounds the same, man. This, the crowd, it's almost like you're just bringing these guys with you. But <laughs> when that happens for you, because you got to say, it, it, you hear it a lot for you. So does that help you? Do you feel like if it was quieter, you wouldn't ride as good? Or when you hear the crowd, pump, does that just pump you up like while you're racing? Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely gives me a boost for sure. Because, uh, man, I bet all those all those people that are screaming uh you know came to came to watch a good race and i'm i'm uh i'm doing it for them when i hear them screaming and they kept me going that second moto you know third uh i was in third about to finish and and that that last that last lap they were they were screaming um so it just it just helps me get around the track and and uh makes me makes me excited to come back every weekend you know uh it can be one thing you're gelling with your bike and you're having fun on the track, but uh, but to have fans like that and, and with with that much enthusiasm for the sport and that much uh, the passion for the sport to come out here and stand in the hundred degree heat for you know five hours and and watch us do crazy stuff on dirt bikes is um, is is awesome and that's that's kind of what keeps me excited to come back every weekend it's it's those people that uh that that buy the tickets and and come come watch us do our thing you know i think that's uh that's pretty awesome and then we finally get a break it seems like we don't get these too often when we're <laughs> racing so what are your plans you probably do your regular stay on the bike keep consistent but aside from that what are we doing for you to just relax and if you got weekends off like what's your choice what do you want to do uh, well usually it's not uh not my choice so What's the wife's choice? Um, <laughs> the wife the wife usually chooses and and uh yeah i think i think this next weekend we're gonna go hang out by the beach and and um just have some downtime you know obviously you got to keep on the bike i think we're riding tuesday thursday this week and and uh yeah um after riding on or uh, after riding on thursday I'm, I'm gonna cruise down to the beach and and just hang for a little bit you know till sunday and and um just kind of take a break like actually take a break and, and just let my mind relax for a little bit hang out with the family probably bury my kids in the sand and and do regular family stuff you know i remember when i was growing up we would always go to the beach and and that was that was a big trip for us uh so 
I'm trying to let my kids live the same life, if not better than me. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, I think uh, the fans and everyone else and all of us <laughs> are looking forward to seeing you at the next one. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it already. All right, see you later, man. Right on.